Kenneth, many in the U.S. are still feeling the effects of Hurricane Ida. Uh, even after its downgrade to a tropical storm, it caused flooding and left many homes and workplaces without power. We've talked a lot about the insurer's role in helping customers recover from loss. How can an insurer be there for customers in these moments when the customer may not even have electricity? Yeah, I, I think, um, Abby, as you looked at the, um, the, the scale of the, of the impact all the way from Louisiana uh, into the Northeast and into New York, um, I think the, the level of disruption to people's lives has been enormous. Um, this is the point in time when I think customers most understand and value the insurance that they have. Um, you know, you and I have talked about in prior conversations about the fact that customers actually very often don't see the value in traditional insurance products. And it's because ideally, you know, eight out of 10 times, the customer doesn't file a claim in a, in a given year. Um, all of that comes to a sharp contrast to what people experience in these kinds of catastrophic events. Uh, in terms of insurer response, I think this is a time when the industry as a whole um, activates its entire network at an entirely different level. Um, insurers have specialized catastrophic claims teams that get activated in these situations. They have a very broad network of external partners because there's no way to actually operationally be prepared for this at a constant level. By, by default, insurers have to activate a network of additional resources to step into these situations, and that's what happens. So really, um, there is a very large-scale operational response that gets ramped up extremely quickly, and that's what you saw with Ida or with any of these catastrophic claim situations. I think the most important shift, though, is the notion that um, you know the, the operational and the logistic response and the financial response is, of course, critically important. Um, but it's also the time when you see claims adjusters and claims teams really follow through on the emotional promise that insurance makes to its customers. Right? This is a time um, when you look at the way in which insurers and, and, the, and the people who work at insurance companies interact with their customers. It really is a test for whether, in fact, you're going to stand by your customers. So I think there's an enormous financial and operational important play that, that occurs in these situations. There is an equally, if not more important, emotional play that occurs at a time when a customer is, as you said, uh, extremely vulnerable and re requires assistance. And I think it's a time when I would argue insurers really step in and shine by responding on both levels. 